come ride with me as I take a tour of Summerlin South. That's what I'm talking about today. Let's get started. everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm taking a tour of Summerlin South. Right now I'm on the 215 heading south and I will be getting off of Sahara heading west. Summerlin South is large, so this may take a couple of videos before I can really actually give you a full tour of it. And what's in Summerlin South, there's a lot of villages. We have Summerlin Center, the Willows Village, the Gardens Village. Then we have Red Rock Country Club, which technically is part of Summerlin South, but not part of Summerlin South. Then we have Ridgebrook, the Ridges, the Summit. Uh, also, we have, uh, what is the other one called? South Square Village, the Mesa Village, and also the Cliffs Village. So the goal today is that I'm going to be filming everything on the west side of Summerlin South. So we're gonna take a tour of um, Red Rock Country Club. I'm literally not gonna take a tour of it, we're just gonna drive through it and, and look to see what it looks like. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the ride. So now I'm getting off of Sahara, heading west on Sahara. To the left is downtown Summerlin and we had past uh, Red Rock Canyon Casino. Not Red Rock Canyon, but Red Rock Casino. So actually, Red Rock Country Club technically, even though it's in Summerlin, it's really not part of Summerlin. And it's about a 738 acre guard gated community. The homes are very exclusive, very high end. Some of them are in the multi-million dollar range. You probably can find homes around the 600 and up. Um, but the nice thing about Red Rock Country Club is that you have the east and the west side and they have wonderful amenities. They have two golf courses in here, which is the Royal Country Club, or the Royal Club, and then also the Red Rock Country Club golf course. So the Red Rock Country Club is golf course is private and the Royal Golf Club is public. Just information on that. There are about a thousand single family homes. Right now I'm at Red Rock Ranch and Sahara. We're gonna take a left on Red Rock Ranch, which will eventually turn into Flamingo. Um, I've done a video on each of these villages. Just check out my YouTube channel if you want to learn more about Red Rock Country Club. So here we go. I don't know if you can see in the other camera just the surrounding mountains, the Spring Mountain Range that Red Rock Country Club encompasses. Everywhere you turn, you'll have a beautiful view of those mountains. And some of these homes um, are on the golf course as well. Now, if you do want to buy a home on the golf course, expect to pay a pretty penny for them. Um, so yeah, it's pretty large, seven, over 700 acres. And this will lead us to the ridges and then the Ridgebrook Village. Now we're going to be passing Ridgebrook, which is a very, very small, um, well, the Ridges actually is to the right. So Ridges is a very multi-million dollar exclusive neighborhood where the Bears Best Golf Course is in there as well. And um, it's about 793 acres, guard gated as well super high end, very modern, very contemporary. And then to the left, to the right is the ridges and to the left is this Ridgebrook village, 
which is a very small village with about, I would say, 100 acres. They have a nice little tennis courts in there, a nice little park in there as well. Um, and it's just like one of the smaller villages. A lot of single story homes in there by Pulte as well. So then we're gonna be approaching right now, we're on Flamingo, this converted into Flamingo. We're gonna land on Town Center. And uh, the corner of Town Center and uh, Flamingo is actually a village called Town remember this name. South Square Village. Okay. <laughs> Let me control that. Right. So now we're still driving on the the ridges. We're going to be landing on Flamingo and Town Center and Trilogy and a new KB community called Stonegate is part of South Square. And that's a very small village. Trilogy is a 55 plus retirement community. And a lot of the homes are um, single level homes, but they're like condo style or townhome style. I'm gonna put my glasses on because I actually need my glasses to drive. <laughs> so now there's town center, like I said, and we are just getting off of Flamingo. I'm gonna take a right here on town center. And to the right now is all of Trilogy. And again, it's a premium, exclusive, 55 plus guard gated community. So this whole little stretch from Red Rock Country Club to Trilogy, guard gated, exclusive, high end living. The HOA dues I know for a fact in Trilogy is $500. Now to the left, we have Siena, which is another retirement community in Summerlin but technically it's in Summerlin, but it's not really part of the Summerlin Association. And the HOA is a little over $200 a month. It's a guard gated community. They're about, it's about 665 acres. And Sienna also has a the Sienna golf course there as well. This community is very, um, to me, resort feeling. I've done a, a video on it as well. And then to the right, we're passing what's called the summit and the summit is actually a very by lands um, discovery something lands I don't know, what is it oh well it's a very exclusive um, again just like the ridges multi-million dollar homes and also they have the summit golf club there so it's off of a golf club to the right is just desert eventually I'm sure they will put something here I have no idea what they will be putting, um, but we're going to land on eventually Tropicana. Town Center is going to turn into Tropicana, and then I'm going to take a right right here, and this is actually the most beautifulest drive of Summerlin that I think. I really like this drive once we're going to go through here. And now we're going to go through the Mesa Village and the Cliffs Village. The only new development in the Mesa Village right now is Mesa Ridge. Oh, just a side note to the left is still Siena. Siena has two guard gated sections. They call it the south and the north section. And there's a lot of homes on the golf course in Siena as well. Now Mesa Ridge, um, they have, it's a Toll Brothers community, guard gated. Everything is over a million dollars. It's brand new. Um, so yeah, it's very exclusive community. So as you see, Summerlin South has a lot of high-end listings, very expensive. But we're about to land into the Mesa Village and you got to see this views. It's very beautiful. The Mesa Village is about 497 acres. There's the Mesa Park here and then it'll lead into the Cliffs Village. I like this village as well as the Cliffs Village just because if you look straight ahead, you'll see the beautiful mountain, the Spring Mountain Range. And straight ahead also is the Mesa Park. If you take a right, would be Mesa Ridge. And then there's the park.
whenever I show homes over here, I always like to take clients to show yeah. them. I do the scenic route because there's other ways of getting into Mesa Village and also the Cliffs Village, but I like to go off of Town Center to uh, all the way down to Mesa Parkway or Mesa Drive, I forget what this is called, but this is all Mesa Village. Don't get it confused with Mesa Ridge, which is still in the Mesa Village. I have my friend Joey here helping me. <laughs> hey guys. Because <laughs> uh, it's a lot of maneuvering. I mean, I know a lot about these communities, but sometimes for talking points to refresh my memory, I need a little just like brief look. Okay, what's that? So pretty soon now we're going to be entering into the Cliffs Village. We have uh, Bishop Gorman High School here. Did you know that Snoop Dogg Dogg's son went to play yeah. football here yeah. at Bishop Gorman? Yeah. Um, and then the Cliffs Village was um, developed in 2015, and it's uh, about, how many acres is it? Oh. And it's about 450 acres. Now also in the Cliffs Village, you have the Regency, which is the first Toll Brothers retirement community here in Las Vegas. And I really like the Regency. I've done a video on the Regency as well, the Cliffs Village. These homes, um, you have Onyx Point. I can't remember all of the subdivisions here in the Cliffs Village, but most of them are very modern, very, very modern and over the million dollar range. Now the most feasible area if you do want to live in the Cliffs Village there is still new construction right now and that is Jade Ridge by Taylor Morrison and that's probably one of the most affordable out of all of the communities here in the Cliffs Village and also now I saw that TriPoint which formerly known as Pardee has some homes starting in the 600,000 um, so that's good to know that the two new construction that's going on in the Cliffs Village and the Cliffs Village is you know, you can get here several ways, either off of Russell or off of Durango or off of Sunset, but the dividing line is Hualapai. So I'm gonna do this loop to show you Regency. And again, Regency is, oh no, wrong loop. I got confused. That's Ohana. Oh, well, you know what, while we're here, let's just go up this way. See what these houses look like. Ironwood and Granite Heights, these are previous. Yeah, they're nice. Ooh. Oh, they're open. These are previous Toll Brothers communities, and I think there's only like maybe here only a couple left because I was talking to the construction manager for Granite Heights. I was doing a final walkthrough yesterday at Regency and he told us that they're final, finally fi finishing. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can actually look at the houses. Very, I guess you would call this desert contemporary. Wow. Look at that, it's just right at the edge of a mountain and no one's gonna be building there <laughs> unless they start building on the mountain. Right. Too bad they couldn't put the houses as the backyard right. along the mountain, that would have been nice. Um, let's see if I can squeeze through. Don't let me go. How does it not Oh, this ends. Okay. Yeah, very nicely landscaped. I mean, look at that house with the... This one looks like they're finishing up right here. Oh, no. That's cute. Looks like a golf cart. There's no way you can fit a car in there. No, it's a golf cart. 
Yeah, I like all the stone work. Looks like this is an all single story community by Toll Brothers. All right, well, let's go to the next one, see what else we can find. I hope this is recording. Yep, it is. That would have sucked, huh? That would be a drag. <laughs> Straighten it up. Yeah. I really like the Cliffs Village. Yeah, me too. Mesa Park Drive. Oh. So right there is the Oak Leaf Park. And again, I've done a video on the Cliffs Village, taking pictures of the Oak Leaf Park if you want to see more about it. I just think this to the left looks tacky. Like, this right here. Yeah. Looks junky. Well, it's not done yet, so. Yeah. Still in the process. So yeah, I was wrong. Actually, the only new construction that they have left down here is, like I said, Terra Luna by Jade, or Terra Luna by Taylor Morrison. Yeah. So yeah, the only construction they have now left here is Jade Ridge by Taylor Morrison, Terra Luna by TriPoint, and then Regency by Toll Brothers. So I'm not gonna actually do the loop. Yeah, I'm gonna do the loop and show you Regency, and then we're gonna go finish up the tour of the Cliffs Village. And that would conclude our tour of Summerlin South. So here's Regency, which is a guard-gated community as well by Toll Brothers, 55 plus. And it's about 500, how many acres is it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, they're almost actually pretty done with it. Um, my client just bought a new home and it closes next week over there. And I really like Regency because it's, um, it's a small community, but people that live in there don't seem as old as you know, Sun City, Summerlin, you know, even though that's my favorite retirement community, people seem a lot younger in Regency than they do in the other retirement communities. And it's about a hundred acres in the Cliffs Village. The homes are about 1,600 to 2,400 square feet. They have two models left. Uh, of course, right now I can't remember offhand, but we're gonna take a right in a minute and we're gonna go into look at Terra Luna by TriPoint Homes. We're actually now on Mall. And did you know that uh, Wet n Wild is actually in the Summerlin Village, Summerlin South, this part of Summerlin South. They have Face Middle School here and then Shelley Berkeley Elementary School. So just FYI. Onyx Point. So to the left is Jade Ridge by Taylor Morrison, and to the right is Terra Luna by TriPoint Homes. So let's take a look at these TriPoint Homes. It's nice to have a little park inside it. Mm -hmm. 
TriPoint, formerly known as Pardee, is probably one of my favorite builders because of the style of home. I really like this very kind of mid-century modern in a way, but very contemporary. I like the color choices too. Yeah. It's different than a lot of the Summerlin villages. They're all different. Yeah. They don't look the same like a lot of the homes in Summerlin. And I like that uh, slanted roof line, which is really nice. They have great floor plans too. We looked at the models here. Yep. I had a client that almost bought the model home. It didn't work out though. I guess this is the lots that they have left. Mm. Yeah. That was one of my client's concerns of how close it was to wow, Wet and course. Wild. Yeah. Well, that concludes my tour of Summerlin South. Also, I wanted to mention that Summerlin South has two zip codes. You have 89135 and then 89148. The Cliffs Village is in the 89148 zip code. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or if you live in any of these villages here in Summerlin South, let me know. Stay tuned. I will be doing part two, which will cover Summerlin Center, the Willows Village, and the Gardens Village. If you're thinking about buying or selling in the Summerlin area, you know who to call, right? Me, 702-370-5112. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.